Khadija, aka Afrikadisiac, or you can call me AK. So welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then please, please hit that subscribe button. So today, I just wanted to do a quick, quick first impression on this product that I picked up, and it is the Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourish and Silken Conditioner. It's going to hydrate and soften. This is one of Shea Moisture's newest products. I believe there's a shampoo and a gel. I picked I this one up because, first of all, the packaging is totally different from regular Shea Moisture conditioners pump but the problem is when you get to the bottom the pump stops working so you literally have to beat your bottle up to get the rest of the product out because the pump is not going to do anything. And the price so of this I believe it was $8.99 or $9.99. size of this is 10.3 fluid ounces and the size of this is 13 fluid ounces. Did cut the price a little bit, which is good because you are getting less with this one. To the actual product. So, when I smelled this product in the store, it smelled like it smelled like lotion. To me. And applying it to my hair, it was really, really strong. And the smell does linger. It lingered on my hair for the whole of day one. I can't smell it anymore. No, because I moisturized, so the smell went away. But all of day one, I smelled this stuff on my hair. It's not a bad smell, it's just kind of perfumey. It's kind of one of those smells that you're okay with, you know, putting on your hair during deep conditioning or whatever, but you don't really want it to linger in your hair for that long, or it can get annoying after a while. So, I believe I am going to be taking this back just because the smell is really, really strong. It does linger and it gets annoying. I have asthma, so if you have a very sensitive nose or if you have allergies or something, um, I don't really know if this is the product for you. Just as for how it performs with moisture, it did soften up my hair. I liked it for moisture. For the ingredients, let's see. There's water, shea butter, coconut oil, cetro alcohol, satiro alcohol, there's glycerin. Um, a little bit down the list towards the middle there are waxes so this product is definitely not curly girl friendly because there are waxes in this and there. so the consistency is really creamy it's really fluffy and creamy I would say it's in between Shea Moisture Superfruit Complex and the Restorative Conditioner. This one is pretty thick and then the Super Complex is a lot thinner. This one is kind of in between and the I middle. I like the consistency. Like, I really do like this. I just wish that the smell was not strong. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me if you tried this product, this particular product, or just anything from... I need to clean my fingers. <laughs> just anything from the line I would love to know how you guys feel about this line and the scent Shea Moisture you guys know with their scents it's either a hit or a miss example the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line that did not have the best scent but some of their other lines smell really good also I forgot to say this is a part of the community commerce 10% of their sales goes to community commerce programs which is really really great yeah guys so Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.